graphing linear equations using x and y intercept. After going through this lesson, you are expected to graph a linear equation using x and y intercept. The x intercept is the abscissa of the point where the graph or line crosses the x axis. This implies that the point is on the x axis, then the ordinate is 0. Thus, we have the ordered pair x, 0. While similarly, since the y intercept is the ordinate of the point, where the graph or the line crosses the y-axis, this implies that the point is on the y-axis. Hence, the abscissa is 0, or the coordinates are 0, y. Using x-intercept and y-intercept, this is the second uh, way on how you can graph a linear equation. The x and y-intercept of the line could represent two points, which are a0 or the x0, and 0b or the 0y. Thus, the intercepts are enough to graph the linear equation. Let's have an example. Graph the equation y equals 2x. So for the solution, solve the x-intercept by letting y equal 0 and the y-intercept by letting x equal 0. So let's substitute for x and for y is equal to 0. So we have y is equal to 2x plus 1. Substitute 0 to x. So we have 2 times 0 plus 1. So we have y is equal to 0 plus 1 y is equal to 1. When x is equal to 0, y is 1. So, we have here 0, 1. While when y equals 0, so let's substitute 0 to y. So, y is equal to 2x plus 1. So, 0 is equal to 2x plus 1. We're going to transpose 2x to the left, so that will become negative 2x is equal to 1. Let's divide both sides by negative 2 to get the value of x. So we have x is equal to negative 1 half. When y is equal to 0, x is negative 1 half. Thus, we have negative 1 half 0. The x-intercept A is negative 1 half, while the y-intercept B is 1. Now, plot the x and y-intercepts, then connect them. So, since x-intercept, uh, when we say x-intercept, the point is in the x-axis. So, we have negative 1 half. So, from 0, we're going... Uh, half units to the left. Next is for the y-intercept B, which is 1, that is y-intercept, it means uh, the point is in the y-axis. So from 0, we're going to move 1 unit up. And then we can now connect the points. Okay, this is the x-intercept and this one is the y-intercept. Our point or our equation is y is equals to 2x plus 1. Let's have another example. 
graph the equation y is equal to x minus 2. So again, we're just going to simply let x intercept, uh, let y equal 0 to get the x intercept and y intercept by letting x equals to 0. So we're going to start with x is equal to 0. So y is equal to x minus 2. Substitute 0 to x. So we have 0 minus 2 is equal to negative 2. For y equals 0, so y is equal to x minus 2. Substitute 0 to y, we have 0 is equal to x minus 2. Transpose x to the left, we have negative x is equal to negative 2. Then let's divide this both by negative 1. So x is equal to positive 2. So our y-intercept is negative 2. So from 0, we're going to move 2 units below. And this is our y-intercept. And then for our x-intercept, which is 2, so from 0, we're going to move 2 units to the right. 1, 2. And there we have it. So the coordinates of y equals negative 2 is 0, negative 2, while for x equals 2, we have 2, 0. Now we have the two points. Let's connect them to form a line. And then let's write the equation y is equal to x minus 2. And there you have it. Again, the x-intercept is the abscissa of the coordinates of the point in which the graph intersects the x-axis. However, the y-intercept is the ordinate of the coordinates of the point in which the graph intersects the y-axis.